Hi, my name is Gary and welcome to the channel. The video you're about to watch is one that I moved from my old YouTube channel onto its new permanent home on this YouTube channel. If you have any questions about the content that you're about to watch, go ahead and put it down in the comments below. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and if you like the content, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Both of those things really help support the channel and give me the ability to continue to produce more content for you. So without further ado, on to the video. Okay, I just wanted to give a quick introduction to uh, my kind of first attempt here at a whole home battery backup system. I eventually have aspirations to uh, make this um, a grid tie system as well as solar charging to uh, try to go off grid as much as possible. So I'll kind of just start here uh, explaining the entire setup. So this junction box has utility power coming in as well as generator power coming in. That feeds into a main disconnect switch. This will disconnect the generator as well as utility power in the event that uh, there's some kind of issue and we need to shut them both down. This right here is a transfer switch, an automatic transfer switch. Uh, so I have utility fed in on one side of it, uh, generator fed in on the other side of it, and this is basically what tells um, the inverter which incoming power it's gonna be using, whether that's generator or <clears throat> uh, utility power. So I made a couple modifications to this box. I actually found this little meter on Amazon. So it tells me uh, the current incoming voltage, uh, current amperage, how many watts and how many watt hours uh, I've been using since I've had this turned up. Uh, there's then a single feed that comes out of this box and runs into this junction box that basically is just a pass through for uh, this inverter that I have here. <clears throat> this inverter is an Ames uh, 6,000 watt inverter. It can peak up to 18,000 watts for 20 seconds. It has a automatic transfer switch uh, that has a 10 millisecond uh, transfer time. So uh, you do notice a little blink in the lights uh, when it goes off, but it seems to be enough to keep most electronics on. I haven't tested it with any computers or anything like that just yet, but uh, seems to be doing the trick. The output from this inverter goes back through this box on uh, 10 2 wire uh, that's then fed to the wall back to the transfer panel. And this is a 48 volt inverter. So I've got a 134 amp hour uh, 48 volt battery bank that's sitting here. These are uh, AGM batteries, absorb glass mat batteries. So they don't really need any maintenance. I plan on getting uh, another eight of these batteries. Uh, as of right now, the load test that I've done with this setup, uh, I was able to run my house for seven hours on this setup and that was pulling approximately 26% uh, load on uh, this inverter, which would probably come out to somewhere just under 2000 watts um, being pulled on this. And the battery bank I saw drop down to, uh, it was approximately 47 volts uh, during that period of time. So I could have probably run for an extended period and that included having loads as far as the garage door opener, my refrigerator, um, also the heat. I have uh, natural gas heat so I can run the blower motor and have heat in my house while this is going on. So uh, it's a pretty nice setup. This is just what the, the garage portion looks like. What I'll do here is um, I'll do another uh, video that'll kind of explain how it's tied in inside the house and uh, how everything operates. But uh, this is just a first look at my inverter setup and um, just pretty much got it the way I want. If you have any questions or concerns or anything, please uh, feel free to post them in the comments and I'll try to answer as much as possible. Thank you.